Alrighty, so this is called the Ka Cha or Cha Kala Cha Kala Trail. I guess that's how you pronounce that. And I just wanted to kind of show you the layout of the state park so you can see that we are here. Here's the main entrance. All we did was come down and just make a right. And uh, this is an agrarian trail, so horses. Um, but you can see there's a number of trails. This would be cool to maybe come down here today and hike up to this tower. Uh, well, I didn't even know there's a, the, the uh, there's the north, I think, oh yeah, that, yeah we already did that trail uh, at the north entrance. Um, so, uh, spotted a skunk. Eastern spotted skunks are declining across their range. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission biologists need your help to learn more about spotted skunks and strip skunks in Florida. So here, let's get up close so you can read that if you want to pause it right here. Uh, let's see. Diverse wildlife can be observed, including the gopher tortoise, zebra longwing butterfly, and American kestrel. Um, and then it, uh, so you got 6.5 mile loop trail, series of trail loops. Choose the distance best for you. Boy, if I had all day, I'd uh, I'd do them all, but uh, I can't leave the dog in the car because it's supposed to get up to 80 degrees. So I'm just going to hike for about an hour before the temperature gets very hot. You know, I walked him already, and uh, he had a good time, but he pooped out, and I had to pick him up and carry him back. So, so here you go. This is uh, this is what the trail looks like. Uh, so I'm going to go left on this Jackson Gap Trail. And uh, let's get back to the map real quick. Uh, I just want to show you, it's going to be a short hike, I think. But I'm going to try to get over to this lake, uh, Woo, Woo, Wooberg. Um, so I figure if we come out and we make a left and then come around and get to here, uh, we'll get a good view of that lake. I just, and then I just hike back before it gets too hot so that, uh, that I can... And I'll try to walk the dog again. We'll see if he'll he'll do anything. But you can see you got other trails here. There's the uh, Cones Dyke Trail, which is a sunny long trail through the heart of the prairie marsh. Uh, the further you go, the better it gets. Diverse plant and wildlife viewing opportunities. Uh, no pets on that trail though, um, so that's why we're doing the, the Kakala here, even though it's, it's a you know it's a horse trail. But uh, we did the Bowling Bluff. We've already done that in a previous video. Uh, here's Jackson Gap. 1.2 miles you got the echo passage observation boardwalk easiest way to the panoramic views oh we already did that <clears throat> that was on the way to the uh, bowling bluff trail okay um here's the the gainesville hawthorne state trail historic rail bed between gainesville and the city of hawthorne i've heard about that and sometime maybe we'll bring the bicycle up here and do that and this one looks really good too. La, La Chu Trail, three miles round trip, elevated boardwalk winds around, it leads to sunny and grassy trail through the Prairie Basin Marsh to observation platform overlooking the, Oc Oc I don't know how to pronounce that, sea alligators and abundant wildlife, uh, no pets though. So uh, you can see this uh, is a rich, diverse area. Um, this is uh, the, this award-winning visitor center is a place to learn more about exploring the preserve, enjoy the observation tower and prairie views. Um, so, and of course, uh, so there you go. Um, let's get started on, I'm gonna take that left and let's see if we can get over to that lake before it gets too hot. And then we'll come back and uh, rescue the dog. All right. So here we are at Payne's Prairie State Park. Uh, I'll have to get the name of this trail, <laughs> and, and I'll put that on the, the front of the video. Uh, and I uh, just wanted to kind of show you what the hike looks like. Got the got the boo dog here with me. Um, he's uh, he's peed and pooped on everything, so uh, he should be good to go at this point. Like I said, he, he, you know, after you work him into the trail after a while, he gets to be like a sled dog. And uh, so, uh, but I just thought I'd show you what it looks like. And this is a horse trail, of course. Um, but I mean, it, it doubles for, I don't think, I don't know if bicycles would be allowed on this trail or not. I didn't see a sign saying they wouldn't, so I imagine it's open to all traffic. Um, and uh, you know, I have no idea where I am, because <laughs> there's about 16 trails back here. 
uh, I think it said 6.5 miles of trail uh, that you can do, um, you know, with various loops, you know. So I'm hoping that I'm on a short loop because if the dog poops out and I have to carry him. So here, hey, check this out, a little detour. This looks nice, doesn't it? Well, this looks pretty cool. So I guess, uh, you know, this I'd be tough to get a horse through here, but I guess, you know, you could just walk up. Look at that. Wow. That is cool. Oh, and then it just kind of ends right there. Ooh, spider web. Okay, well, I'm glad I walked over here. I just saw this little side trail. You know, I always try to get off the, the main path uh, whenever I can. Of course, see, see what he does? He just wants to sit there and sniff on air. Come on, boo, let's go. That got it. You've already peed 16,000 times. Stupid dog. But, uh, but you know, you can see it's a, it's a real pretty trail. And uh, I'm looking forward to... So a good hike today. You know, we're up here in Gainesville. This is near Gainesville. Uh, you know, my wife's uh, she's in surgery today. Hope everything's going to be okay for her. Uh, so anyway, um, peace out. And uh, when I see something unique or different, I mean, you can kind of see, you know, isn't that a, a unique view where you can look across, you know, right there. Uh, and you know, nice, nice combination here of uh, different types of trees mixed in with the palms. Just a perfect day. Oh my goodness, man! I think it's temperature supposed to get up to 80 degrees today. Um, you know, this this is the time of year when Florida is just awesome. You know, especially being a free state. You know, we can we can go and do as we please. Go go out to eat. Uh, you know, I. Them Democratic idiots in New York, and they're getting all the money. You know, they're they're taking our Republican money and giving it to the doggone Democrat states because they, the idiots locked them down and 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 closed all their businesses. You know, this this is hey, you're looking at another side trail. Come on, boo, let's go. Boy, I'm gonna be at this all day. Well, I I hope not all day. That, that would mean something went wrong with my wife's surgery. But uh, well, look at the, yeah, it looks like a bicycle's been through here. So I do believe that, you know, bicycles are okay because you can see the tire treads on the, uh, the the side trail here. So it's just kind of more of a loop. Well, looks like it's going on that way. Huh. Uh, you know, if I could, I'd, I would hike through there. But it just kind of would go down into that ditch. Hell, let's do it. What the heck? Got to get the dog over top of the tree here. Let's go down into this ditch. This is kind of fun. Boo, come on, let's go. I don't think this is part, <laughs> this is definitely not part of the trail, but I just want to see. The only thing I worry about is spiders when you go off trail like this. Well, it's not, looks like it just kind of goes back into the weeds. We'll, we'll get back on the trail. But I just kind of wanted you to see. Yeah, <laughs> he, could, he couldn't get over the tree. <laughs> yeah, I know, Boo. I thought you might be able to jump over top of that. Yeah, there you go. All right, so uh, we'll just uh, keep on going and uh, maybe get a couple more videos today. Um, just kind of wanting to show you. But by the way, I, let's just give you some some of the the uh, uh, information about the state park. It's uh, eighteen dollars a night plus tax to camp here. Uh, with well, that's with a tent. Now, I'm not sure if that's an RV price or not. But well, looks like he's heading back to the car. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put him in the car. Open the windows. It's in the shade. He should be all right. And then uh, I'll come back out and get some more video. All right. Just a quick video to show you what it looks like along the way. Kind of a unique uh, view. Looks like they uh, went in here and they cut stuff down. Maybe that's fire prevention. I guess. Uh, but the, you know it's good they left the underbrush and that's good for uh, small animals and uh, stuff like that uh, but I don't know why they would come through and just cut all that down and then you know they thinned it out obviously I don't think it's logging so these are small trees so all right but this is uh this is what the trail looks like so um, if I see anything unique along the way like that uh, we'll get another video here we go thought I'd get another video I don't know. I thought all these trails were horse trails, but uh, you, you don't see any horse uh, hoofs. Uh, the sand is not kicked up. So I think this may just uh, basically be a hiking trail. 
you know as you can see they've cut down all the undergrowth so this is obviously oh check out the deer back here can you see them yeah this is the stuff you see when you walk along yeah he he should have caught wind of me because he's downwind I, you know i would have thought he'd be a little bit afraid but uh, he's looking at me Ooh. well we'll leave him be man that was neat <laughs> I, was, I was just going to show you the fire break you know this is what we do for fire management here in florida you know if you're a democrat living in california and you get all those wildfires this is what it is to be in a republican state we actually uh, manage our forest you know not that i i, I would have thinned it quite this much but i understand the, the need for it and uh you know just to get the other view from the other side uh which you know this this obviously hasn't been thinned out so this is what this would look like uh, if they hadn't cut everything down but i just kind of wanted to show you the uh the hike here along the way um because uh yeah this is really really nice I and mean, easy on the feet i mean man if you saw my oklawaha you know hiking across that rock it just got to my feet you know i should have warned the hikers but luckily i'm just in tennis shoes again and uh and this is just perfect for tennis shoes. You know, nice and flat, no no up and down. So I'm not getting the heart rate up at all. It's just basically just a leisurely hike through the woods. Uh, not a lot to it. Um, you know, I always wonder, <laughs> you see these, these ribbons quite often on trees, well, on, on different trails. And I mean, who comes back here and puts the ribbons on the trees? And why are the ribbons on the trees? Maybe somebody, uh, whoever, you know, the, of the, the 10 people that watch this video, you know, maybe uh, you can give me an answer to that question in the comments. Uh, but uh, we'll get some more video here in probably in a few. Uh, now, I'm, I'm doing an experiment today. I'm, I forgot my headphones, so I'm streaming the radio on my phone and you know here's here's another thing i mean you got to remember how invasive you know every app you put on your phone is, is tries to be and uh so every time i bring up radio.com the uh, the app it asks me if it's allowed to run in the background now why in the hell would you want a uh, radio app running in the background i mean on your phone i mean now maybe you know if you were going to make a call but if i'm going to make a call i'll just close it and then I'll reopen it when it's time. Now, this doesn't make any sense. That is bizarre. I, oh, I guess they was doing a control burn. I was wondering why there is some, I was going like, did somebody build a fire inside the tree? But uh, that's probably from a control burn. But the tree, I mean, amazingly enough, with that big hole in it, it's still alive. Isn't that cool? I mean, it looks like it's thriving. I, I, how can you, I, that's like, you know, somebody hollowed out your gut. And, you know, you're still going strong. I just, that, that's, that's bizarre to me. Isn't that cool? Wow. Yeah, it, boy, I just happened to pick the right time to make a video. Seeing a deer, seeing a weird tree like that. Uh, you know, there's another ribbon over here. What, what's the point? I don't, I don't get it. Uh, so, uh, alrighty. Well, well, we'll get some more here in a bit. But I, I just thought I'd show you what a nice, easy hike this is. Uh, so far and uh, hopefully we'll get around to that lake and then i got to get back to the car and and uh we'll, i'll get the dog out and see if i can get him to go up another trail again and uh you know he's it, it, it gets frustrating man he just wants to sniff and poop and then you know then he then he'll just flake out and not not want to walk i you know I, I love the dog but uh you know i wish that dog would walk uh and and oh this is a nice touch you know i did a little bit of the other trail which was going straight out of the parking lot there. And uh, you do see there was one bench on that trail, you know, not too far up. And here's a bench. So, you know, if you need to rest coming along, it's always nice to have these benches. You know, I, I always like that. And, uh, well, you can see we're coming up. Like I said, they got a number of loops in here. And uh, I'm not sure which direction is going to take me to that lake. Uh, here's the Kaka Cha Kala Trailhead. So they got the sign there, um, but uh, you know, like I said, I I would continue this way because that looks like a better trail than just hiking down this road, which is obviously a horse trail. But from what I saw on that map, I'm hoping this is going to take us to the lake right here. So we're just going to go down this, and uh, we'll get another video here in a few. So that left fork there, back there. Uh, service vehicles only. <laughs> That's I guess it was just a service vehicles only road, because all it did was bring me out to right here. 
So we'll go back and, uh, and continue straight, which is the direction I would have gone in the first place. Uh, yeah, here's another ribbon over here in the tree. I don't know what they're all about. And, uh, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like here from the road. Yeah, what a great place. Look at them up here. They're riding their bikes. Boy, if you came here and you camped with your family uh, in the, in the wintertime, I'd never, <laughs> you don't want to be camping in Florida in the summertime. I can tell you that. I, I, I've done it. You know, you saw me at, uh, when I was on that trip up to Lynchburg. That was, man, I, you know, it gets down to 90 at night. You know, I mean, that's, uh, it was brutal in the tent. Now, if you've got an air conditioning RV, I, but even that, that air conditioner is going to run full time trying to keep you cold, cool here in the summer. Um, I get to have a, as we go back on the service road, a quick story about that. My dad decided uh, we have um, one of those uh, RVs, you know, that, uh, uh, you know, it's not the not the long ones. It's the, the one with the bunk bed that comes up over top of the uh, the driver's uh, area there. It's, you know, not very, not huge, uh, but it was cool sleeping up in that bunk bed. You can kind of see the water here. And uh, he brought us down here to Florida and because uh, we were going to go to um, Disney World. And uh, <laughs> my mom, my mom, and my brother and I, we just cried and whined. You know, take us home. It was so hot. I mean, it was just unbelievable. You know, and uh, we were staying at this campground. I'll never forget it. I don't know what these bugs were, but they uh, they came in and they just they just like settled all all over the uh, the uh, camper. And uh, you couldn't even see the wall of the camp. That's how many bugs. I mean, it looked like they were trying to eat the camper. <laughs> I mean, you could. And then when you open the door, you know, a thousand of them would just come flying into the camper, you know. And I, I don't remember what we did. I think we might have moved to another, another location. <laughs> but, well, you know, you always wonder. I mean, Dad was trying to do the right thing. But you always wonder what goes in a parent's head. You know, why in the world would you come to Florida and try to camp in the summertime? To go to Disney World, and then when we got to Disney World, we would stay up in that little uh, monorail train because it was air conditioned. Because <laughs> it was it was too hot to walk around at Disney World. I mean, it was just brutal, brutal. And uh, and of course, we weren't used to it. We're from Virginia, you know, at that time. All right, you got somebody coming. You guys, we'll we'll, we'll get a, get another video and we'll get on the other trail. So this is the uh, straight section, you know, after hiking down that service road. Uh, it was a mini motorhome. I remember the name of it now. I, <laughs> I couldn't for the life of me. It's not an RV. That's what we were in. And uh, I cannot believe the ground is wet. I mean, we haven't had any rain for... I don't, I don't even remember the last time it rained here. But uh, anyway, you can see it's it's a totally different hike than what we were on uh, where they had, uh, you know, created the fire break. Um, so, wow, look at all this water. What in the world? Maybe there's a natural stream. That's what it looks like. It probably is. This might be an aquifer. Because uh, look, it's, uh, well, you can see the water here. Yeah, this is, this is that's what this is. Uh, that's the reason why it's wet. You can see the water over here. So I guess it looks like, uh, you know, if, if it had rained recently, uh, this might be, not be a good hike. Uh, you know, it's just because it's been so dry that, that I'm able to get up in here. But, you know, it's a totally different uh, look than what we were getting back there. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get to the lake uh, before it gets too warm, but uh, we'll see. We'll keep going a little while longer and uh, and then we'll head on back. And that'll probably be, you know, unfortunately you're not gonna get to see much of the park today because I do have the dog with me. But uh, at least we got a, a little bit of a hike and you got to see a little bit of, um, uh, of the park here. And um, so, uh, all right, that's uh, that's kind of enough. I think you know, until we get a different look, uh, we'll just keep on going. Boy, this is really a neat hike. Look at this. It's kind of like you're going through a swamp almost, which I guess you are in a way. Um, not like a Marshall Swamp, which we've done. Uh, and boy, you know you're in Florida because you can hear the the all the the uh, different animal noises and birds and you know who knows <laughs> so you but you could see you know this if this was if it had rained recently this would be uh you, you would well you could do it with some hikers or maybe some boots but you're not going to want to come back in here and uh and do this uh you know unless it's been dry for a while uh oh there's a spider web dang on it maybe nobody's been back in here they just didn't take the detour here 
to get up and around that water. But uh, this is uh, definitely horses have been on this trail. I've seen them, seen the horse hoofs. So this is, uh, it is a still, uh, so I was wrong, probably wrong about that other trail. So this is a horse trail. There's there's some manure that uh, from a horse coming through here. Um, but uh, I don't know if we're gonna get to the lake. We'll just keep on going. But I had to show you that kind of swampy area back there. Uh, and let's, let's see if you can hear the sound. Well, you might have heard a little bit, uh, but it, it was pretty loud earlier uh, with all the, the noise from the swamp. So, pretty cool. Well, look at here. A little different look. There was a fork in the trail a ways back. So I'm pretty sure I'm on the trail to get to the lake, but uh, I don't think we're going to make it. I'm going to have to turn around because if I do get a phone call to, to get back to the hospital, I can't get too far away from the car. So, uh... I just wanted to show you the the last part, so we're not going to make it to the lake. I just I can't venture that far away because I'm getting uh, well at least a mile or so at this point. Uh, but uh, you can see it's a really really good hike, uh, and you really you you well you you are you're back here in the forest. You know I mean that's the uh, that's the whole point of uh, hiking these trails is to to be back in the forest. Uh, check out the butterfly. There he goes. Oh man. You know, oh, whoop, something that was probably a lizard back there. Uh, so uh, this will be it. I'm I'm gonna turn back here in in just a few. And uh, but uh, this will and this will probably be it for the video today. Uh, I might I'll get the sign of the park on my way out. Uh, but you know we're just south of uh, Gainesville. Uh, you know what you do is you uh, you can come down 75 and uh, it's probably about the first exit once you get through. Uh, the prairie there, uh, which is beautiful, man, driving through that on 75, uh, and that's a, that's a really cool, uh, that's where that uh, opposite, well, not on 75, on 441, on the other side of the prairie is uh, that observation deck that you saw on the sign uh, when when we came in, uh, so, uh, you know, and, oh, but, <laughs> you know, of course, I'm listening to uh, uh, the Todd Herman show, and uh, there, there's no border problem, people, there's, remember that? A uh, liberal, uh, well, I didn't post it on YouTube. I said it was. A, I was doing a video on uh, the, how uh, some people are crazy, and uh, there is no border crisis, and you know, there's nothing happening at the border. We and we don't have migrant children in tents, and you know, COVID restricted tents, and uh, the border patrol is uh, losing their minds trying to contain it all. But that's not happening, people. That is not not happening. Anyway, enjoy the trail. Sorry to get a little bit, uh, I'm just trying to get a little news out there uh, for, for people watching these videos who don't really watch the news. And, uh, and you can enjoy the trail while I let you know a little bit about what's going on in the world. So uh, anyway, kind of disappointed, man. I would love, love, love to keep going. But uh, that's it for the day. And uh, well, you can see the trails, uh, it's changing, changing uh, views here again, kind of kind of neat this is what I'm seeing there's another butterfly it might be the same butterfly going that way uh, so you know look at look at all the, the wild I mean the stuff we've seen just in a short time it's uh, really really been a great great hike can't wait to come back someday and, and do it for real all right